Welcome to the Solax instructional installation video series. In this video, we will provide detailed step-by-step -step instructions to ensure the successful wiring and commissioning of Solax smart meter. First, let's get started with the introduction of the smart meter. Before installation, we kindly request that you take a moment to read the meter manual and familiarize yourself with all the warnings and caution notes. Electricity meters are divided into DTSU-666, without CT, and DTSU-666-CT, with CT, and the meters must be purchased from Soliex and have the Soliex logo. The meter without CT is suitable for currents below ADA. The meter with CT has a wider current range, such as 5-200A. Please prepare the listed tools in advance. Let's briefly go over what comes in the packaging of the Solax meter. Now we will move to the wiring section. Meter cables should go into pins 4 and 5. Thread the net cable into pins 4 and 5 of the RJ45 connector and crimp it. Connect three lives and the neutral wire to the meter. And fix the inverter end to the inverter. Thread the meter cable into pins 24 and 25 of the meter and tighten them. And insert the other end into meter CT port of X3 hybrid G4. Connect ports 1 and 3 of the meter to the S1 and S2 of the first CT. Then similarly connect ports 4 and 6, 7 and 9 of the meter to the S1 and S2 of the other two CTs. Connect the port 258 of the meter to L1 L2 L3. Then connect the port 10 of the meter to the neutral wire. Clamp the CT to the live cable. For meter with CT the direction should be pointed to inverter. Thread the meter cable into pins 24 and 25 of the meter. Connect the other end to the inverter. For the password please consult with Solax authorized installers. Choose meter. And enable the function. Set the meter address. Set the user value to be zero if there is a zero injection requirement. Here, we demonstrate the meter settings with DTSU 666 CT, for the two meters have the similar setting. Set the baud to be 9600. Enter the password. For meter with CT, please set the current transfer ratio to be 40. Set the prob to be N.1. Set the meter address according to that on the inverter. After all the settings, check the baud, value, electric current, power, and power factor to see if they match the inverter. 